advantage to sinking these vessels is the immediate vertical relief that they, they create for the environment. So we'll have a variety of species, including pelagics, that will show up on it. Larger structures, such as a tug like this, when it has a current running against it, will cause an upwelling of nutrients, which will bring in additional species, and it, it creates a habitat. It's basically like building a, a condominium complex or a small town from scratch. The East Coast is more of a desert. It's, it's a featureless bottom, and by uh, putting a hard surface structure on it, you're giving, uh, you're creating habitat. You're giving things for invertebrates to grow on, and it, it starts the basis of the food chain. Crabs will feed on the invertebrates, fish will feed on the crabs, and, and uh, you know, there's tremendous benefits to be found from it, uh, which have been proven over the years from all the artificial reef, reef creation. Our process, we actually go beyond what the, the guidance says. We'll generally cut out the piping that would have oils or fuel in it and um, you know, go, go that extra step. You only really have one chance to make a reef right. We want to create beneficial habitat, and in this case, a good dive attraction. So we want to open up everything we can. You want it where, uh, for instance, like on the, on the Coast Guard Cutter Spar, where you've got access from one end of the vessel to the other, where light can get in and air can escape, and you can have water flow through it so water doesn't stagnate, it makes a better reef. You know, you only have one chance to reef a vessel properly, to, to prepare it and sink it right.